So I'm going to do something a little bit different this time around. Um, something that I had sort of forgotten about um, that can occur within the game uh, outside of, of, I guess, generic weaponry is also the harvesting tools. So your metal picks and hatchets and whatnot. So what I've got with me, and I'll go into my UI to show, I've got a typical primitive metal pick that you make at the smithy and an almost capped uh, ascendant metal pick to go along with that. So 298 is the cap, but I figure 296 and a half, that's close enough. So what I'm going to do is a experiment. I'm on one times rates at the moment and I just want to see what would happen if to uh, hit these rocks with the primitive metal pick and then also use the ascendant metal pick on another rock. So we're going to compare the overall results. So I've heard the rumor that ascendant stuff will get you more resources. Uh, whether or not this is true, I've, I've actually never bothered to explore with. But I figured because it's relatively easy to get blueprints these days, or just to find the pre-crafted item as is, I figured, well, if we're going to see the difference, it's going to be between the primitive and then the capped, which is almost three times the amount of the primitive in terms of weapon damage. So to do this as a control, I'm going to destroy two rocks with the primitive pick, and we're going to see how much metal and flint and stone was collected. And then I'm going to hit the same sort of rocks. So I'm just going to choose these little river rocks because they're easy, they're small, they're... Um, obviously consistent you know size of the rock does change the amount of resources you get and that will be shown in this video as well hence why i've chosen this area so that way i can tackle these larger rocks after attacking these smaller ones so what we're going to do we're going to start with the metal pick so we're going to also count how many hits it takes to destroy these things so don't forget i've only got 100 percent um damage but i do have 104 levels to put into my character which will go into melee damage um, as well. So at the end um, of this test, I'm going to up the melee damage all the way, which is going to be something ridiculous, but I don't think any character would necessarily do that. However, to, I guess, prove the point that even an increase in the damage for and resources gathered will also show that for players because not everyone uses um, tames to sort of gather their, their materials. So, just making sure that I'm selected onto the primitive pick. One hit, two hit, three hit, four, five, six, seven. 24 flint, nine stone, four metal. So I'm going to drop this now because, well, it's already recorded into the video, so I don't need to worry about necessarily maintaining it. I'll just go back through the video and I'll put up the results at uh, a later stage within the video itself. So 24, 9, and 4. We'll do it again, just for an average. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So very similar result. So uh, 26, 11, and 2. So I'll average that out later on in the video. I'll put it up on the screen. So, 100% character melee damage, 100% metal pick damage. The average amount of hits needed is 7 for 25 flint, 10 stone, and 3 metal. So now we move over to the ascendant pick. 1, 2, 3. So, 30 flint, 10 stone, and 3 metal. So, very similar results, but it did it in half the amount of um, hits. Actually almost close to a third in comparison to the first rock. So 30, 10, and 3 for the Ascendant Pick first run. 1, 2, 3. Alright, so this one was a little bit more interesting. Definitely a lot more metal this time around, but 27, 7, and 9. So with 100% melee damage on the character, 296 on the metal pick, we average out 3 hits, 29 flint, 9 stone, and 6 metal. So if we compare these results, we find the biggest ratio difference is metal, at 2 to 1. 
Other than that, the resource harvesting difference is insignificant between the primitive and ascendant pick. The only major benefit to the difference in these picks is the amount of hits needed to break the node. This in turn will allow you more time to go to more nodes in a shorter time frame, therefore increasing your overall yield. Now, just before I buff the melee damage on this character, just to prove that larger rocks do give you more resources, I'm going to hit these with the primitive pick. One, two, three. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, so 14 hits. So roughly double the amount of hits that the st small stones were taking. Put that over there. So not as much metal, but we expected that because the river rocks do contain um, small amounts of metal in comparison. But much more flint and definitely more stone. So there we go. And then I'll hit this other rock over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, eleven this time. So if this rock wasn't quite as large as the other one, so it didn't take as many hits to destroy it. Don't forget that the larger would have larger, I guess, uh, node that you're hitting, the more health it's going to have. It, size does matter. <laughs> All right. So again, we did gather, I think, a little bit more stone, I think, but definitely more flint. So more flint than the river rocks, but not as much metal. Again, we it's been a long-held belief that uh, melee damage will help increase the amount that you yield, which whether or not this is true, I have no idea. So let us buff our melee damage. This is all with official rates. There's nothing in here that's um, sort of misleading or whatever else. I am in creative mode just to try and... Uh, make sure I can spawn in what's required. Uh, or repair anything that I have in my inventory as well. Uh, just as a added FYI, the uh, Mind Wipe Tonic with LR is just a reusable Mind Wipe Tonic that um, I don't have to keep sort of spawning in a Mind Wipe. I can just keep crafting within my inventory. It just stays there. So, primitive pick. We discovered that it takes quite a few hits in order to destroy these river rocks with the primitive pick and we did see and i'll put on the screen now what the um, amount of flint stone and metal was in terms of an average and i will destroy a couple of these rocks to find the average with a buffed melee so one two oh okay two hits that was actually a lot quicker than i anticipated so flint stone and metal whether or not these um, become the increased norm or whatnot. I, I'm not entirely certain. We will find out as soon as I compare the results. One, two. Very similar amount to the previous um, rock. So getting the average should be fairly easy. As we can see by the before and after for the melee damage increase, the amount of resources harvested with the exact same tool on the exact same rocks has had no impact on the amount of gathered materials. However, the amount of hits has drastically reduced, which can save you a lot of time if you should be farming by hand. Now we'll try the Ascendant, which is almost capped. Okay, so one. Whoa, okay. Just, just the one. Uh, okay, well that is a massive increase. I... I'm just going to assume that the melee damage of the character does indeed compound with the melee damage of the pick. There's a few benefits to this. Not only do you gather more resources from each node themselves, but you also only need one hit or less hits at least to break the node, which means less time spent on a singular node and less durability wasted on that singular node. It seems better to use higher damage tools rather than relying on a higher melee damage in your character. So with that out of the way, I hope you guys found this uh, video informative and I hope that you learned something. So next time I see you, well, we'll see what we can come up with, eh? Cheers and like and subscribe if you enjoyed.